Welcome back to Powerhouse. Today we're doing a whole house energy assessment, which is kind of like a medical exam for your home. It gives you information on each part of your house and how it impacts the energy efficiency of the rest of the house. Now, one way to find out where there's a trouble spot is through a blower door test. Join us is Rob Buchanan to tell us about this test. And, and Rob, what does this test measure? Absolutely. The blower door test uh, uses this industrial sized fan to basically pull air through the home. So that's going, so by blowing that air out, we're gonna find all the holes around the windows and doors and uh, recessed lighting in the basement, all those places where air can get in. If air can get in, air can get out, and that's gonna cost you money on energy bills. Now, Rob, I usually think about a fan just kind of circulating air around a home, but uh, how does this really work in terms of measuring? This industrial sized fan is going to blow air out and when air goes out, air is gonna to have to come in around the windows and doors, and that's gonna give us a really good assessment of exactly how leaky this building envelope is. So really kind of you're looking for some suction. I mean, it's going out and you're gonna look around to find where those, that air is kind of flowing in, right? Absolutely, you can feel with your hand or we're gonna be able to use a thermal imager to actually watch that air move inside the home. Okay, and along those lines, some simple fixes, and again, I say simple, but not major fixes that a homeowner can, can tackle themselves. Absolutely. Right? With a little bit of skill and a little bit of time, most homeowners can address the major issues dealing with the air infiltration. A uh, little caulk, expandable foam sealant, um, weather stripping are typical things that most homeowners can install with very little skill that can make a really big difference in, in that air infiltration and energy savings. And again, you talk about energy savings. Let's talk a little bit about that in terms of dollars and cents on the, on the monthly utility bill. It, it, can, it can add up, right? Absolutely. The Department of Energy estimates that for a relatively leaky home, as much as 40% of that energy bill can actually be just going to air exfiltration. So uh, if we can get up into the attic and address the recessed lighting, address, do some sealing around windows and doors and around those basement penetrations, you can really see a significant improvement in your energy bills. All right, Rob, well, I'm, I'm anxious to see the test uh, get underway, so should we take a look? Absolutely. So you're, you're turning on the fan, and then you're going to get a reading here, and you're really, what are you, what are you looking for as this, as this starts up, Rob? Sure. What we're looking for is, we're looking at two numbers here. This is the number that's actually, that we used to set the fan. So we want the pressure on the inside of the house to equalize with the pressure on the outside of the house. The next number we're going to look at is this number here, and that's going to give us a reading of how much air is actually moving through. So with the pressure constant and the amount of air variable, we actually can use that to tell how much air is moving through the home and uh, the kind of work that needs to be done to tighten this up. Okay, so you see a number and then that gives you an indication, I gotta go look at some different places, and you'll, then infrared and you're looking for that, or thermal imaging? Right, the thermal imager, uh, because it's nice and cold outside today, we're gonna see a lot of contrast when that cold air is moving over, coming through those areas and actually moving over the walls, we're gonna be able to see a lot of contrast there and it'll help us identify which areas actually need the most work. And again, some real opportunities for the homeowner to tighten the house and lower those energy bills. Absolutely. Those are the places where we're gonna, we're gonna prioritize to make sure that we can keep that cold air outside and the warm air inside, especially during the cold winter months. All right, Rob, thanks. And if you'd like more information about how you can seal up and prevent air leakage in your home, go to our website at powerhousetv.com.